I had volunteered for probably about two years before I decided to manage. Um, I have managed for five years, totally volunteer, like full-time work, but it was all volunteer, which isn't typical of any shelter. I think that's non-existent. Um, and then after that, um, I was going to move, so they decided they need to pay somebody to try to convince me to stay. So I was paid part-time, but I worked full-time hours. Our hours are really long here. And now I'm just a regular paid staff, but I also volunteer my time. Every animal that comes in the shelter touches touches my my life, my heart. But Gus is one to me that actually changed my life, and I'll try and talk about this without crying. Gus came to us with his mom. His mom had six six puppies. There was like so that he had five siblings, and they were about I want to say about a week old when they came to us. And it wasn't until he was about six weeks old I started to watch him. I thought he can't hear. That dog had more love to give than any dog and watching him and watch how he accepted and watch the things he did and I talked to one of our vets to see a lot of people might think well why would you have an animal like that live and I said well would you put down a person that's blind and can't hear very well so I stayed around I never went far from this shelter I never wanted to travel because when he needed his meds he could get a little snarky and he was hard to pill so just watching that dog and watch the things and how brilliant he was we had a game that we tried all the dogs to do you'd lift these little things and put the treats in them and everybody he gave it to just sit and sniffed it, but when Gus walked up to it, he'd sniff, he'd lift them right off and he'd take the treat out. I mean, that's how, how smart he was. But his, he was so amazing and so loving and so affectionate and he loved to play and he loved Sophie and he loved Bliss and he got so that he loved everybody else. He taught me that you don't need eyes to see and ears to hear. So I will, I have so much to be grateful for, so much to be grateful for. Um, but the hardest things, probably the hardest things I've had to do is not be able to say what's on my mind, Selena, would probably be in saying all that to let people know what I really think of them. You'll see the best in people and the worst in people when you manage a shelter, and that's absolutely true. There are so many amazing people, volunteers, people that give their time, that give their money, and people that just can't be bothered with their animals. I'm not talking people that genuinely have to surrender an animal because they've lost their home or their job or they have a terminal illness, like a really good valid reason. People that just think, I work all day or I don't have time or my new boyfriend doesn't like my cat and our answer to that is then get a new boyfriend. It's not hard to say goodbye to the animals when they get to go to a home. I mean, we miss them, but that makes it about us, right? Um, we're glad that they get to go and we miss them. So that's a, that's a little bit hard sometimes, but that's a good thing for them.